Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss our new topic from the developmental biology which is induction and competence. So let's start. So here is induction. Induction itself derived from the word inducer, right? So the kind of interaction at close range between two or more cells or tissue of different history and function is known as indu induction, right? So what happened in this case, uh, if there is a cell or a group of cells which gives signals, right, to the another cell and that another cell changes their properties and their uh, behavior because of that signal is uh, known as induction, right? This process is known as induction. So the cell which gives signals, right, known as inducer and which receive these signals is known as responder so it may be occur in group of cells or it may be occur in a specific region or in specific uh, you know in specific cell right so there are two kinds of components in induction first is inducer and second is responder right the tissue that produce a signal and change the cellular properties of other tissue called inducer right Inducer is the cell which induce, which produce signals, right? And which receives signals that are responder, right? The tissue being responsible by inducer and change their property is called responder, right? Next is example of induction. So in this case, what happened here is um, light is focused on cornea right as we know cornea uh, help to focus light which is produced by lens tissue right so in this case what happened here is cornea is the responder and lens is a uh, inducer right so in the vertebrate eye light is transmitted through the transparent corneal tissue and focused by the lens tissue eventually impinging on the tissue of neural retina and, and the retina uh, make it in visual form, right? So this arrangement of tissue can't be disturbed without impairing it. This, this arrangement is never uh, disturbed if, uh, if it can be disturbed by uh, any kind of uh, external, uh, external disturbance, right? So in this case, there are two cells here inducer and responder uh, inductive signals are there uh, uh, if second cell is responder right next is competence right the ability to respond to a specific inductive signal is called competence so in this case what happen uh, some cell responds only a specific signal they can't respond to a uh, they cannot respond to a uh, every signal. They do not respond to every signal, but a particular signal, right? So not all tissue can respond to the signal being produced by inducer. So in this case, uh, what happens here is here is the example where we see uh, what happened in it. So if optical vesicle, which is presumptive retina of Xenopus levis, is placed in the ecotopic location underneath the head ectoderm. It will induce ectoderm to form lens, lens tissue, right? So in this case, in this case, the presumptive retina, right? The presumptive retina of Xenopus lepis is placed ecotopic location. Ecotopic location means not its original location, other than original location, right? Then underneath the head ectoderm. So, uh, head ectoderm only responds if it has it has pack six right it only responds it have if it has pack six right to form only it can form only lens it if it has pack six without it lens does not form right so next is there are two types of inductive interaction first is instructive interaction and second is permissive interaction so in this case what happens here instructive instructions are given by the inducer to the respond instructive as its name indicate 
name indicator it instruct other cells to respond right so it always need inducer to response right it needs inducer to make other cell respond but in case of permissive interaction responding tissue do not need in inducer to response it contain all the potential to express right it only need environment right that allow expression of trait right next is regional specificity of induction in regional specificity of induction what happens here is only a specific region right can induced and make a particular uh, structure or organ or any right so or any organ in or, or any body part uh, right so in this case what happens here region specific epithelial mesenchyme cell leads to form the complete specific structure for example skin epidermis which is in ectoderm and dermis in mesoderm both combine to form skin <laughs> its specific region combine to form skin right so here is the diagram which shows um, some cases of regional specificity of induction and the last is genetic specificity of induction right in this case we need a set of genes to activate the responding cell uh, what it can perform right so in this mesen kind cell express to which set of gene need to activate the responding cell can perform but is new so in this case donor cell uh, donors pro gastrula uh, which is uh, implanted into new gastrula result to the formation of new with pro tadpole suckers right and the second case new gastrula is implanted into pro gastrula and uh, lead to the formation of pro tadpole with new balance right so in this case genes are required set of genes it does not require a region it only require a specific gene right so this is all about the induction and competence i hope you like the video you understand this and if you please like the video please subscribe share and like and thank you